Welcome to the Ruffle Daisy. Today I'm going to show you how to make these whimsical Christmas presents so that you can add a little bit of whimsy and fun to your decor. This kit is available in my shop if you want to purchase one. To start, we are just putting a white coat on all of the MDF wood. MDF really sucks up paint and so we are going to put two, possibly three coats on this. And I use a layer of white underneath because it really makes the colors pop and they're vibrant when you put the actual colors on the top layer. I also have the wood that it is going to sit on or actually be adhered to. So I'm putting a coat of white on that as well. And that is actually pine, so it would only probably take about one coat of paint. Since we have our base coat covered really well, now we are going to add the color that we want and bring them to life a little bit more. For the first one, we're gonna add polka dots, and I am just using the end of a foam brush stick. For the second one, I am taking some washi tape and I'm placing it evenly spaced, and that is how we're going to do our diagonal stripes. And then on the third one, we're gonna actually do a plaid, and you can see here that I'm going up and down with my washi tape. Washi tape is just a paper Japanese tape, and it works really well for projects like this. So you saw that I did the stripes up and down, and now we are moving them to where they go crisscross. And you can see here where I'm adding some red ticking to it, and this is just gonna make the plaid look really cool. Now we're gonna add some fun to the sides, and this is where I use a plastic knife or my Dollar Tree tool, and I simply scrape some paint on the side to give it just a little bit more character. This really just makes all your pieces pop, and I really encourage you to try it because you will have so much fun with it. Now it's time to attach our pieces to our wood base. We are just spacing these evenly apart, and I realized that these would actually be super cute as flower pots in the springtime as well. And in Ruffle Daisy style, we are creating some messy bows. I am simply using some thinner ribbon and twine, and we are making messy bows that are a little bit different for each package. Next, we're going to adhere each bow to the top of each package, and I absolutely love this piece. Whimsy was what I was trying to create, and whimsy is what we achieved. For the last step, I'm just adding all of the colors to the edge, letting them dry in between, and it's just really gonna bring it together. What do you ladies think? I think this is the cutest, most adorable Christmas package project ever. Say that 10 times fast. I hope that you love this project. If you loved this DIY and love all things home creative, please visit theruffledaisy.org where I show all kinds of tips and tricks on how to make your home beautiful, especially at the holidays.